what is slope? Well, slope is just, if you look at these pictures, if you're looking at land, it's just land that's either slanted down or slanted up. And even flat land, we would say has a slope. I have some examples here in real life, the slope of a house, uh, this, a wheelchair ramp, a ski slope, uh, a road that goes up or goes down. If you've ever skateboarded, you usually appreciate a slope usually that goes down. I used to bike and I loved it going down, going up was a lot of work. So what about slope and math? Well, the slope of anything has a number. For example, when we are building a roof, we need to know what, what's the slope going to be. There's a number associated to that. And so today we're going to find out how to find that number. And we're going to start with something very simple. We're going to use the coordinate graph that you're used to putting dots on. There are four types of slope. The one that if you go from left to right and it looks like it's going up, that's called the positive slope. When we talked about graphs, we would call this increasing, an increasing rate. And again, when you read it from left to right, you would call this a negative slope. When we were working with graphs, we would call this a decreasing rate. A flat horizontal line like this is a slope of zero. It basically says that, yeah, it, I can ride a bike on it, do a wheelchair, ride my skateboard, and it's just flat. Don't you love my artwork here? <laughs> the other members of my family got the artistic ability, but here you can see he's falling down because you can't ride anything on something that's vertical like this that just goes from top to bottom. So we call this the undefined slope. You would never see a road made with this direction. So what is this number that is associated with slope? Well, I'm going to show you on this coordinate plane. And the first thing you do is you look at this line and you see where it goes through different places on the graph. And I like to look for numbers that don't have fractions. So I'm not going to go here because I, I don't know what that is. Negative four and a third third and negative no mm -mm, not gonna even go there so where i'm gonna go is i'm gonna go where we have integers like negative five negative five and negative four negative three and things like that so i'm gonna go up here it doesn't matter where you go as long as you pick two places on your line and then you look at it and the very first thing you want to look at is what is the I call it the altitude change. How high or low does it go? Because we're gonna deal with the y-axis first and the y-axis deals with how high something goes. So when I read this from left to right, I see that I'm gonna go up. How far? Well, you just count the boxes. I always count on the outside. So here's one box and here's the second box. So it goes up two. I'm gonna put that on the top of my fraction. And then I'm gonna see how far it goes to the right. Because again, if I'm going left to right, it's always going to go to the right. And it just went one box. So there it is. That's my slope, 2 over 1. If you can simplify it, then absolutely simplify it. So that is a slope of 2. You might also say that is a rate of 2. What type of line is this? What type of slope? Well, if you said negative, you are correct. So let me show you how this works. Let me go to a couple places here. So I got one right here and here and again we are going to look at the change in height first before we change look at where it goes left to right and it is going down to go to the next point it's going down as so we call that negative one down one negative one and then from left to right it's going three so i'm going to put negative one to three. Oh, i'm done i can't simplify that that is a slope of negative one third. Now I do want to show you, I didn't have to do it there. So I'm going to erase that and go back and I'm going to start here and I'm going to go to here. Now again, it's the easiest thing to do is to read this left to right. So I'm going to start at my dot that's on the left. And you got to remember this is the left side, <laughs> this is the right. 
I used to have a lot of troubles with my lefts and rights, so I'm sure that it would be helpful for some people to see that. So we're going to go left to right when we read this. And since this dot is above that one, I'm going to go down. Again, we do the change in altitude first here. And it went down two. And then it went over. Well, let's just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I always count on the outside of my line, not inside the triangle. So that is six. And so I have a negative two over six. Well, what does that simplify to? Well, divide both by two. There you go, negative one third. So it's the same thing. That's just to show you that it really doesn't matter which two points you choose. Um, it will simplify to the same number. What type of slope is this? Well, if you said zero, you're right, but let me show you why. Let me just choose two dots. <laughs> We're just gonna go from here to here, how's that? And what's the change in the altitude? What's the change in the up and down, the y value? Uh, nothing. <laughs> it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down. And so that's just a zero. And how far over does it go? One. Well, zero divided by anything is guess what? Zero. So it's just a slope of zero. Finally, which one is this? Should be undefined. So let's see, I'm gonna choose two dots. I'm gonna choose this one and this one. It doesn't matter again which two I, I do. And change in the Y first, how high it is. So it's gonna go, I don't care which way you go, one to five, five to one, let's, let's go up. So that's one, two, three, four. It goes up four. And then how far over to the left or right does it go? Well, zero. And something to math you have to understand is anything divided by zero, it can't happen. Now there's a really good reason for that. And I may do a video for that one other time, but anytime you see zero on the bottom, just can't happen. And so that's why it's called undefined. All right, now you've seen all, all four types of graphs and how I've got them. Go and have some fun.